All right, a couple of video, a couple of videos ago, you were shocked because you're like, I'm the hot sauce guy, and I'm making you eat these like super spicy hey, here we are. Like, Reaper Reaper cheese balls. Yep. So yep. now you're here for your hot sauce. Okay? I'm back. You're back. I'm back. <laughs> so uh, this is a new company, man. Uh, they've only been around for like a year, I believe. I met these guys at um, Jim Jim's Weekend of Fire this year, okay. and I tried one of their sauces. I don't remember exactly which one it was, but it's, I think it's one of these three. But um, I was impressed by it. Um, or uh, I liked the guys. I liked the story of the company. A new company. I enjoyed their sauces, and so we're going to. They gave me a couple bottles, and we're going to try them today okay. and get uh, get our insight on them. Okay. Um. So yeah, brand new company. Um. And the labels are really cool. Uh, I like their attention large, to detail. Large bottles. Of big bottles. Big bottles. Large bottles. That's the first thing that I, I know. Right. Um. There's only a few companies that I've seen like use this like shape and size yes. of bottle, and I think they would dictate that the sauce is going to be more towards the mild side. Yeah, that you use more of it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so right. I, I feel like these are all going to be like table sauces yeah. with um, with their own little kick, with their own little kick, or their own They're, little like flair. Something that stands them apart. Flair on ingredient or something like that. But I think there's going to be like more flavor for sauces, yep. and it's going to be about the heat. Um, so we have three sauces for them. So we have their cilantro. They can. They, Anyway, interesting spelling on this. Slanktro. Slanktro. That's their. Well, if you see. Okay. It's Hank, so, this Hank sauce is the name of the company. Okay. So, okay. This is a, so it's a play on the, on words there. Uh, we have their their urban fused hot sauce, and then we have camouflage hot sauce, which I think is either going to be like the original or their hottest. I'm not sure, but we're going to find so out. So we have no clue what we're getting ourselves I like the, into. I like going com like pretty much completely blind. We're guessing a lot of these. <laughs> We've been doing this for how long? And well, here we are guessing. No, I like to I just like learn and experience <laughs> it as we're moving along. No, I get it. I so get it. we're going to start with. We're gonna go with the camouflage first, all right? Sure. Before we get into this, like some ones that have some interesting, like some other ingredients, we're gonna go on with the more. Well, the cilantro is gonna stand itself out. Oh, absolutely. So, all right, uh, the sauce for anything that needs something. Shake well, probably made in the USA. Camouflage hot sauce. All right. Um, let's see here. Sweet and tangy and zesty camouflage is accompanied by hidden heat. The combination of fresh herbs and spice makes this the perfect sauce for grilling. Out. Uh, try this fresh and flavorful blend on burgers, wings, steaks, and anything else, uh, and watch it blend right in. So yeah, he's trying to say it's basically an everything sauce. It's uh, like a table sauce. Uh, ingredients are Hank Base, which is aged peppers, distilled vinegar, salt, and thankful gum, and then wine, garlic, salted butter, um, and then I guess they make their own salted butter, so sweet cream, salt, cilantro, and then contains milk. So this is like a buffalo sauce. And uh, my favorite part of this, I'm going to put it on this camera. Is that their picture of what to try it on? That's my favorite part of the bottle, right? It's there. cool label. It is. Know? It's like, very, I like, very I like, well done. I like the mat. I like the paper labels. I like how the tops of the bottles all have their own different, yep. you know, shrink wrap. Yep. It's cool stuff. I like it. All right. It's got a pull tab. Don't care. Drink. Nope. Because that's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one too. All right. Set the knife aside. Give it a shake. Right. Load up with however much you want to do. Smells incredible. Really? Yes. It's got the te it's got the texture of a wing sauce. Yeah, that's what it smells like—a good wing sauce. It's a beautiful pour there. I know, right? I'm seeing what you all see right now. <laughs> Boom. Oh, um, let's see here. So you can like smell. Mm -hmm. um, it's it it, just, it has that wing sauce kind of. It's got a wing smell. sauce smell. It, you can almost like. It says contains milk. Or this, what's the word? Contains milk. You can almost like, you, you can like. It, it sounds weird to say that, but you can like smell the fact you that there's get, like some dairy yeah. or like it has like a a very um, uh, noticeable smell to it because of that. It's uh, distinct. Yeah, it's a uh, medium in body. I guess you say it's not too thick. It's not too thin. It's kind of right there in the middle. It's a very smooth sauce. I'm not seeing a lot of things like floating in it. No. Um, it's just it's a very very um, uh, rich looking sauce. I guess you'd say. Anyways. It's a little warm. That is a good. That is. I want that on wings right now. I know. This is like. There's not many sauce. Not many companies that I think do like a, like a fabulous wing sauce. You know. Well, and they I'm did. gonna put this right there with it. They did. Um. That was incredible. Very good. I think that like. Um, very crisp yeah. taste. I think Defcon is another company that does a wing sauce really really well. I've done a video on them before. And I have another video coming up, but anyways, um, this is what I would say is like 
a standard yes. buffalo wing sauce that absolutely done fabulously well absolutely so good um it's got you get the you get the bite from the vinegar but it's not overwhelming but you know it's there and it's got just enough to kick to let let you know it's warm but, but it has, it's gone but it passes, gone it passes right. very quickly yeah, very quickly um there's some other things going on there's that there's a there's an herbaceous quality that's happening with it um trying to get like i get like a garlic hit um, it does have get, a little bit of a garlic. A little hit. bit of garlic hit. I'm getting a little bit of onion. I think maybe. I do get the onion. Um, I, yeah. But it's a very very smooth sauce. This is perfect for wings. Absolutely. Okay. I wonder if they're intending to have all their sauces be like kind of like wing sauce. Well, it's got the color. All of them have a color. They all have a very sauce. similar color. This one's got a lot more going it's a on. A little there. darker. So we're moving on to their herb infused hot sauce. So he's got a different uh, kind of breakdown on this. It's a hang sauce, an alternative to boring pepper sauce. A savory, fresh blend has a perfect bite that can be used in a wide variety of foods. You may not burn a hole in your tongue, but don't be surprised when you burn through the bottle. So, I'm kind of agreeing on that one. Um, ingredients, Hank, so you, the Hank base is the number one ingredient again here. Uh, wine, garlic, and uh, so it's, it's got the same same ingredients except for the addition of basil here. So that's the herb they're talking about. Yeah. So, so their number one ingredient is Hank base. It's their base. Okay, so, so that's it's pretty like cool. It's, it's like their Hank sauce. Okay, cool. Basically, so they made their own base. That was the worst cut that was ever. Awful. God, it was terrible. That was, yeah. What are you doing? I don't know. Awful. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to watch. I had to witness that. That was terrible. All right. So they're herb infused. So this is saying the only thing I can tell is difference is the basil addition here. I do like how they said it won't burn a hole in your tongue, but you'll burn through it because it's incredible. So instead of the cilantro, they added basil. And so this, I'm, I'm interested to see how this is all going to pan out. It smells very similar. Does it? Yes, very similar. It looks very similar. A little, little bit more going on in it. It might be the basil, I guess, the herbs. Yeah, a little bit more happening. Yeah. It's got the exact same consistency. It's not too thin. It's not too no. thick. It's... Uh, it's got a richness to it. I'm seeing a little bit more floating in it. It might be the garlic. I'm seeing a little bit more of on this one. Anyways. Once again. It's great. It's um, incredible. I'm definitely getting the basil on this yeah, one. Yeah, this one, it tastes way different it's, for how close they are on ingredients. Absolutely. Hmm. I think I like that one more. You do? I think so. The flavors are so similar, but yet so different. They're so, they are. They You've are. got like, so I, I taste their base immediately. That so one's more like, flavor forward. This, which one? This one? The is one we just you, did. You think so? And the other one, I got the heat first, but it was gone immediately. This one's just flavor forward to me. I, I, I don't know. I, I kind of just, I'm, I'm kind of going the other side with it. Like, this one is definitely hotter. It's definitely I think, hotter. I think this one had like more, um, Flavor, just I think, I think the cilantro hits harder than the basil does here, but I really enjoy the basil on this. Um, it's just the, they're it's it's very very good, incredible. It's it's it's, it's both of these are they're it's, it's weird. They're so similar, but they're so distinct yep. simultaneously. Yep. Um, really enjoying this. Okay, but from the beginning, that's kind of what we expected. Similar yeah. sauces with their own distinct they, to kind of like thing. hit to yes. them basically. Yes. Like this is all this is almost a man. It's I feel like. This is going to be a hotter version of this blend, almost. Yes. You know? Yes. All right, so the, the final one. There you go. And I'm kind of, yeah, that was finally, there you finally go. a good cut. <laughs> there you go. Um, I'm, I'm interested on this one. I um, am, too. So, cilantro. Okay, so that's a play on Hank sauce and cilantro, clearly. Um, so it says, uh, gives food attitude, a hefty dose of fresh cilantro. It goes into a unique blend, they get, blend, giving it an incredible smooth flavor. Cilantro, that's so hard for me to get to get out. <laughs> Makes the perfect sauce for your favorite seafood and Mexican dishes. Try it as a marinade, salad dressing, or just pour it on your favorite foods. That is such a good idea when it comes to Mexican food. Yep. Because like, you know, standard, you know, street tacos, you're gonna get onion, you're gonna get cilantro. You and know? and people are so indifferent on cilantro. People either love it or they hate it. I love cilantro. I love cilantro. Uh, so the ingredients are the hank base again, distilled vinegar, salt, xanthan gum, wine, garlic, salted butter. And so he's basically switching out that last ingredient, so the cilantro. Mm -hmm. So from the first one, it's literally the exact same ingredients in the first one. Let me see here. Salted butter. By weight, it is literally the exact same ingredients. Interesting. But he's just using probably because cilantro doesn't weigh a lot, and so I'm assuming he's using more of the cilantro. Of the cilantro and the color. 
It was significantly, significantly different. Significantly different. We had from the first one, which is the which is cilantro, to the last one, significantly different color. But yeah, the exact same ingredients. But I'm excited because their stuff stands out. Yeah. They this do one, thing. I like the color of this one the yeah. best. Whoa. Pours that quick. is a bright sauce. It pours quick. A little, little looser. So this one looks the most smells like similar. a buffalo sauce. Yes. You can, you can literally see the chunks of cilantro. Yep. Smells similar, too. So he's almost like, crazy, he's like dry hopping it with cilantro. Yep. Like, a, like coming and going to beer terms here. So. This one looks and has the consistency closest to like a traditional buffalo wing sauce. Yep. Um, I'm so excited for this. Wow, that's amazing. These are incredible. And this one's actually got a good hit. It does. That um, that might have just took my favorite. Okay, I think this one is my favorite out Mine of the three. Too. Um, okay, again, these are all so similar, but all yet so different. They do their own thing. They all do their own thing. Even though the, the ingredients are somewhat similar on all of them. So, I'm going to say it's camouflage sauce. Like, this is probably the hottest one. Oh, okay. abs absolutely. Um, absolutely. That one hit really hard, really quick, and then it was gone. Yep. Uh, this is Urban Fuse. It's kind of like his basil one. Mm -hmm. It's probably the mildest of the three that we tasted today. Yeah, absolutely. And then I put, like, right there, and kind of in the middle, is the Soanctro. Soanctro? That is so hard for me to say out, to get out. To get out. <laughs> um, which is honestly probably my personal favorite. That's my favorite. Um, it, these, they're, they're interesting. Like, he's, say, he's saying seafood. He's saying tacos. Um, basically, but the, by the, the flavor profiles, the heat level... And the size of the bottle, like these are all table sauces, all like you put them on pretty much anything. Um, I think that they're all like very reminiscent of wing sauces. He doesn't, I say, do. he doesn't say wing I sauce do. anywhere on the bottles, but I would say I these do. are all like wonderful wing sauces. I, do I agree. Um, uh, great stuff. I'll put a, a link in the description to um, their website so that way you guys can check them out too. Um, this is very, very solid stuff. I, I guess the only thing I, I would, I, I can handle a little bit more heat clearly on all of them, but. Um, I don't know that's necessarily what he's trying to go for. He's just trying to go for, you know, like solid table sauces that are approachable for everybody. I think it's a really smart idea. I agree. Thanks, Justin. Thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going <laughs> to, oh, man, it's going to be great. Bye.